Hey you guys, it's Maddie and welcome to or back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Um, today's video I'm really excited for and a lot of you guys have actually been asking for this video and we are just going to be doing a full tutorial. We're gonna go step by step in my everyday makeup routine and I'm just gonna show you how I've been doing my makeup lately because I know for me personally and probably for a lot of you guys as well my makeup routine changes from time to time you know new products come out I fall in love with new products I don't like other products that I used to use as much just things like that so recently I've been making my makeup look super bronzy and glowy I'm obsessed with that right now I'm super in love with like that super glowy just summer bronzy look and that's what we're going for today. Like I said, I want to go step by step. Um, my most requested thing to show you guys actually is my brow routine. So I'm gonna be showing you guys that today as well. And um, let's just get started. I'm really excited for this video. I love the way my makeup has been looking lately. Face makeup is like my favorite thing to do. I feel like I've been really fine-tuning my skills that I already had with face makeup especially. So um, with makeup of course you're gonna look worse before it gets better and there's gonna be some points in this video where y'all are probably gonna be like, whoa. But just trust me, um, this is what I've been doing every time I do my makeup. Alright you guys, so let's get started. So I'm going to start out by prepping and priming my face with moisturizers and with a primer. So first I go in with the Tatcha Violet C Brightening Serum. Oh, that feels so much better already. So I had nothing on my face before this at all. Like no skincare today. All right, so now I like to take the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream because it just gives your skin even more of a dewy glow. Which like I said, is exactly what I'm looking for. And as you guys can see, I mean, immediately my face is just like, oh, much more radiant looking. All right, so sometimes I don't use a primer. I like to just moisturize. It's like a perfect, flawless base as is. But my pores have been like, effing huge lately. So we're going to go in with the Tatcha Silk Canvas as well just to hopefully blur out those pores a little bit. So I'm going to just scoop some out. Warm it up in my hands a bit and then I'm going to just Okay, so I just like to really prime the T-zone area. My pores are just really big right in here. So I don't know how much you guys can really see on camera, but I have pretty good lighting in here. My skin already looks so much better. It's just a little bit more blurred and it is super glowy. All right, so this step, um, you guys are probably about to be a little on the fence with this step, but I've been doing this all summer 
since this product came out, I've been using it every single time under my foundation. This is the Huda Beauty Nymph Body Glow in the shade Aphrodite. Isn't she beautiful? So I like to do this step because it just gives your foundation an even more glowy effect and it's definitely going to look crazy. I mean, you guys are about to be like, whoa, but it's okay. Trust me. So I'm going to take a foundation brush and just take one squirt and here we go y'all. Bear with me, I'm about to look like a bronzy tin man. The first time I did this, Quaid literally said I looked like the tin man, so. All right, and then just kind of press that into the skin. Whenever you're blending, I never like to pull or circle motions, I just like to kind of press into the skin. And my skin is still primed, don't worry this isn't like ruining the primer or the moisturizer or anything. In fact, Nikki Tutorials, um, Nikki says that she uses this stuff as a primer. So, double primed. No, that is way too loud, Quaid. Quaid. Is he fucking kidding? Alright, I'm back. I cleaned my beauty blender so it's damp now. Okay, so I'm going in with my all-time favorite Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation and Honestly, I've tried so many foundations. This is my favorite still. I think my second favorite would be the Double Wear though by Estee Lauder. I think they're both $40. Um, but they're both so full coverage. This is so full coverage and I just absolutely love this foundation. This is gonna cover up your fucking hangover. I mean, literally, this is going to cover up anything. So here we go. I am in the shade Macaroon 230N, even though it doesn't match perfectly. I have like four Huda Beauty foundations now, and like <laughs> none of them match completely perfect. So I'm going in with a lot. I am very full coverage. I love full coverage foundation. So like we're going in. I really want to try a new foundation and I know that like Pat McGrath just dropped a new foundation, um, Anastasia Beverly Hills just dropped a new foundation and I really want to review one so y'all comment down below and let me know which one I should review or try. So I'm just blending this out with tapping motions, I'm not dragging, I'm not you know, any kind of motions or anything like that. I'm just literally pressing it into the skin. Look at that coverage, you guys. See, I told you not to worry about the bronzer because, girl, she's covered. But the trick to get like flawless foundation honestly is your primer um, or just your skin, you know, just in general. Like if your skin is dry and you haven't washed it or anything that day, your foundation's probably not going to go on as well. And I like my foundation to be a second skin. 
So moisturizing and prepping for that is definitely gonna help to get a flawless finish. Okay, I gotta focus y'all. Don't ever forget to blend out your neck, blend down your neck. But just like look at that, it's so glowy and dewy and it just looks, I mean you definitely, I mean I'm obviously wearing foundation but it just looks like a second skin. It's like a perfect canvas. Okay, so next I'm gonna contour and I've wanted to show you guys this product for a long time actually. This is also by Huda Beauty. Everything I've used makeup wise so far is Huda Beauty. I love Huda Beauty. Like if it's not Jeffree Star, it's probably Huda, so. All right, this is the Huda Beauty Tan Tour. And let me tell you, this product is absolutely amazing. And I'm in shade fair like I just showed you. Uh -huh. I am obsessed with this. This is another one of those products that as soon as I got it and as soon as I used it, I was hooked. So let me just show you guys how easy to use this is. So I'm just, gonna, I'm just going to get in there. I mean, you could literally just dots if you wanted. Just do, 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 do. Literally. Whatever you want. And then take the other end. This brush is also by Huda Beauty. This is the Face and Sculpt brush. It, um, she released it with the Tan Tour. Sorry, I'm so used to going whenever I contour. I mean, look at that. That was the easiest contour of all time. All right, that side is done. I mean, that's just so crazy fast and easy. I mean, I love it. Okay. So easy and it looks so good and I like this because it's a cream contour and normally cream contours are like really hard to blend and this is literally the easiest thing to blend ever I mean like if you have no idea what you're doing with contour you could probably still use this cuz I mean I'm no like genius I I'm no pro at contour for like by any means, but this stuff makes me feel like I am. <laughs> and Huda says that this formula is like, you know, obviously it's a cream, but it dries matte. I don't know about that. I still set it with like a bronzer, which you'll see later, but I just love the way it looks and I like creams because you know like foundation it's just glowy and dewy if I could just leave it like this I would <laughs> but you know I gotta set it speaking of which I probably should have already done 
I always set my face after foundation. Okay, continuing. Alright, so now I'm going to do concealer and I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape. This is still my holy grail go-to concealer. I know the Jeffree Star concealers came out and honestly, like I did do a review on them, but I just, I don't know, it didn't, it did not beat the Tarte Shape Tape, so sticking with her. I like the bridge of my nose. Um, I kind of like conceal around here a little bit. I know I look crazy, but I do that to prevent creasing. Basically just highlighting the natural highlights of your face. Let's bring them out. Just like you contour the natural contours of your face. All right, so a little trick. I like to start from the bottom because whenever you just start from the top, the sponge might pick some of that up. So I like to start from the bottom and bring it up and get like as close to my under eye as possible. Like that. To get as full coverage as possible. So much better. Woo! I am not mad at all. I'm actually pretty happy with this so far. I think the contour looks good. All right, so like I said in the beginning of the video, there are gonna be times where I look not so good, but we're getting there, we're getting there. So next step is setting powder. So for setting powder, I use the Huda Beauty Baking Powder in the shade Pound Cake. Alright, so a setting powder, I use a damp beauty blender as well. And I'm just going to go in and set everything that I concealed. This literally instantly mattifies all of that beautiful glowiness. And I kind of like hate that, but whatever, it is what it is. Looking good, looking so good. Okay, so actually I wish I thought this through a little bit more because whenever I'm baking, I actually do my eyebrows. And a lot of you guys have been asking me to show you my eyebrow routine, so I'm about to look like a full dumbass while I'm doing my eyebrows. But it's okay. Doing it for y'all. 
By the way, this eyebrow brush from Jeffree Star X Morphe, my go-to for real. Like over the Anastasi one. So I'm gonna zoom in a little for y'all. All right, so we are very up close and personal looking at all my flaws. So for brows, I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Soft Brown. Of course with this brush that I just showed you guys. Okay, so start out by brushing my eyebrows out. So obviously my brows are not the exact same, so there's really nothing I can do to make them look identical. Just try my hardest. And also I haven't got them waxed in a while, so I do, you know, have some little scragglers down there. But it doesn't matter. They'll still be fine. Okay, so I'm gonna be looking this direction because that's where like my close-up mirror is. I'm gonna wipe off my bake on my nose so it's not like, holy crap, white. Okay. So I'm gonna just start off by drawing a line. on the bottom, just to kind of like outline the brow. And as I get closer to the beginning of my eyebrow, I get lighter and use lighter strokes. And as I get further away, I get darker and use harder strokes. And when I get the tail of the eyebrow really thin, that's how I like it at least. And then I kind of do the same on the top, I outline. And then for the arch, I, I find that doing this with the brush and just kind of letting the brush move itself. Did you see how I did that? It just kind of goes by itself and creates an arch. And of course you can make it more defined arch if you want by drawing out further and then connecting it, but I kind of like a softer arch because that's how my eyebrows naturally are. So now that we have an outline, I just start filling it in. It's okay if it's a little messy right now, we're gonna clean it up with concealer. All right, and as I get to the beginning of my eyebrow, I'm going to be very light with the brush. Going in upward motions right there. brush that out and there is my brow so of course I go in and makes little changes to it darken it up in places where it needs etc 
But that is basically how I do my eyebrows. I know this is gonna be a really long video, so if you guys want anything, like, if you guys want a video dedicated to a certain part of my makeup routine, like just a video for eyebrows, or just a video for winged liner, or just a video for fake lashes, let me know in the comments and I'll be more than happy to do that. So to clean up my eyebrow, I go in with the Jeffree Star Concealer because it's a lighter consistency and hey, I paid money for it, I'm not going to waste it. And I use a brush like this, just a super thin tip. So this step really cleans up the brow and it also highlights your brow bone. And then just blend that line out so it's not just like a white line. Alright, so that is one brow. I'm gonna go do the other one off of camera and I'll be right back. Alright you guys, I'm back. Um, I've been debating on if I was gonna do an eyeshadow look today and just for the sake of time, unfortunately I am not. I totally had an eye look in mind um, using the Sultry palette, uh, but I'm just not gonna do that because this video is already so long and it is already 5 o'clock so there's really no point. I will show you whatever I do though on the eyelids whether I'm wearing eyeshadow or not. I use the MAC Paint Pot in Painterly and right now my lids are just not looking too cute and then as soon as you put this on it's just like a perfect base for eyeshadow. I use this as a primer and then even if I'm not wearing an eyeshadow, I still put it on because it just makes your lids look a lot better. Alright, so now my lids just look better and primed even though I'm not wearing eyeshadow. So I think my next video after this is going to be Quaid doing my makeup because a lot of you guys have requested that. Um, ever since my last video, my house tour, when I brought that up, a lot of you guys actually want that, so I think I'm going to do it. I'm using the Kat Von D Miss Vaccinate Your Children Please uh, Shade and Light Palette in the light, the lightest one, just to go over my contour and bronze it up. Right, I actually need a blush. I'm thinking about getting like a Kylie blush or something, so any suggestions, drop them down below. Right now I'm just using an Estee Lauder blush because I literally don't have any other blushes. Alright, so I am going to set my face again, and this is the Dewy Setting Spray by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Isn't that packaging just beautiful? 
I go in with my setting sprays. And of course, I am doing this right before I highlight. Jeffree Star brush and Jeffree Star highlighter in the shade Diamond Wet. This is literally the most beautiful highlighter ever. Oh my god. <laughs> Y'all. Just, I mean. Hi. <laughs> literally, that's just one time. Wow. I love highlighter so much. Like, literally, so much. I mean, I don't want to stop. I don't think that it could get any more blinding, but like, I just don't want to stop. It's so pretty. Okay, I'm just gonna take my finger and highlight my nose. Just kind of rub it on the tip of my nose. Tap it on. And then same for right here. All right. Um. I do the same for my Cupid's bow, my Fultrum. I need to get my lips done so bad, actually. Speaking of Fultrums. Okay, and now I'm just going to take this little bitty baby fluffy brush to highlight right here. I really, really, really wanted to do my eyeshadow today, so I'm going to do an eyeshadow tutorial soon. Um, my go-to right now, I think, is like a sultry glam, like a really nice smoky eye with just a beautiful like champagne lid, you know what I mean? Um, I don't really have an everyday eye look. I think that using colors and using different palettes and going outside of your comfort zone with makeup and eye looks is what helps you grow as a makeup artist and I think that when you do the same eye look every single day that you're not really growing or experimenting with color and for me personally when I started experimenting with color I loved it I mean I didn't really expect to love it as much as I do and now, I mean, two videos ago I had pink eyeshadow on and I loved it, you know what I mean? I love color, I'm super comfortable with it, but I used to not be because I would do the same, the same eyeshadow look every single day. So once you start kind of branching out, I feel like you really do start getting better at eyeshadow, which is what I've been trying to do because if there's anything I need to get better at, it's definitely eyeshadow right now in my opinion, but I do definitely want to do an eyeshadow look for you guys soon. Alright, so now I'm going to show you guys how I apply my falsies. So I'm just going to quickly apply my mascara. This is the Their Real Mascara by Benefit. I really, really wish I had eyeshadow on so bad. I feel naked.
All right, so I don't have like a new pair of lashes or anything. They're actually like literally just sitting out. <laughs> but these are Lily lashes in the, what are they? The style tees, that's right. My go-to Lily lashes are my Ami. Love my Amis. So, of course, I'm just putting my Duo lash glue on the band. It's not rocket science. So, a little trick I like to do is kind of just bend it together so it will form on your eye more naturally. And then, of course, just wait until the glue is as tacky as your ex. I just am going to plop it on there. I'm going to use my fingers. So I start out gluing down the middle. So I kind of place the middle where it needs to be. And then I place the outside where it needs to be. And then last, I pull in the inner corner. And now I'm gonna just do some blending. Gonna make sure it's on there correctly. All right, so it's not perfect yet. Um, I'm gonna let it kind of dry down a little bit before blending it more. Gonna glue the other one on. Where the fuck is it? Alright you guys, so that is my makeup. Those are all the tips I have for you guys today. And for the lips, I think I'm going to be wearing a red lip. Just because I'm not wearing any eyeshadow. My hair is curled. I'm wearing all black. I just, I feel like it's calling my name today. So this is the Fenty Beauty Stunna Lip Paint in the shade Uncensored. I really like the tip of this brush, it's pretty cool. All right, you guys, so that is today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below. Real quickly, I did just wanna say again, thank you to all of my new subscribers. You guys have re-inspired me and I'm just so happy to have you guys here. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.